and think to yourself, Oh my god, my uterus is trying to kill me! Hi, I'm Dory. Welcome to my channel and prepare to get scarred for the rest of your life. Totally serious. I swear my uterus was trying to kill me yesterday. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about something that every woman has to deal with. The monthly menstrual cycle, or as I like to call it, menstrual cyclone, because it's a bunch of things thrown together in a giant swirling funnel of death. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, as you can tell, this vlog is going to be a little uncomfortable for some people. Um, viewer discretion is advised. If you feel any, uh, uh, you know, if you're deterred from this at any point, please feel free to just watch something else. Um, I just feel like it's there, but nobody really talks about it. Menstrual cycle. And it's different for every woman, which is insane. And the whole premise of having a period is insane in itself. I mean, seriously. What, I mean, I know the biological reasons for it. But why does it have to hurt so much? Like, I swear, I'm telling you, my vagina was trying to kill me yesterday because I was, I woke up normal. I was like, oh, I feel totally normal. Yay. Walked my daughter to the bus stop. Yay. And the, I got back from taking my daughter to the bus stop. No big deal. Totally fine. My, my son was still asleep, so I thought, you know what, I'll just take a nap. That sounds good. I think I'll take a nap. An hour later, I woke up and I'm like... I don't feel so, so, so right. I went to the bathroom. Hello, period. Nice to see you again. My favorite, my favorite. But then, like an hour after that, uh, just instant pain. And it's like, I have this, I don't know if this is for like norm, like other people, but for me, like, I will go, like my last period was very light and it didn't hardly hurt. It lasts like two days. And I was like, awesome. And then this, like, Whenever that happens, the next period I have kills me. I mean, I, I swear it's like turning and twisting on the inside. And you're just like, oh my god, there's just so much pain. And I'm just huddled up on the couch and I'm just like, what do I do? I can't take Midol because it makes me tired. And I can't, I can't afford to take a nap because someone's got to watch Ivan. Because I'm just by myself. So I'm just sitting there like crying. And I'm like, it hurts so bad. And I'm like, I took like three IBO and I took it forever. So like, ugh, it's a generic kind. So maybe that's why. But whatever. It took forever. It, like, seriously, I had to call Catherine to come get my daughter from the bus stop. That's how like crippling it was. And I'm like, this is insane. Like, why do we have to go through this so much? I mean, it's so annoying and stressful and it gets in your way and you can't do anything. And uh, it's the most annoying thing ever. Like, it's like, that's the only thing I just don't want as a woman. Like, just get rid of it. Like, I don't even want it anymore. Just take the whole thing. I don't want it. Just take it. Cause like, in all honesty, people, it, it may, it's awesome being a girl, but it sucks having a period. Like, if it weren't for that, like, I think we'd be pretty perfect. But they say, like, but you have to have a period. You have to go through all this pain so that you can understand the point, you know, you can get used to, like, child rearing and, and having babies. Why? It hurts like hell having babies. Like, it didn't prepare me for shit. I still had a lot of pain when I had my kids. I'm like, it just, no, it makes no sense. Just, I don't want any of it. Like, why? No. It doesn't, it doesn't prepare for anything. You're just like, God, I'm going to be in pain my whole life. Until I hit, like, late 30s, early 40s, and maybe menopause will be, like, the golden light at the end of the tunnel. But then I hear menopause sucks ass, too, so I'm like, I don't even know what I... I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I just want it all to go away. Like, why? And, like, I know some people get her hysterectomies where they just take the whole damn uterus out, which sounds awesome, but I hear you have to take a lot of hormones and stuff like that, and, like, I don't even know, like, I don't know what would be better. But, honestly, like, I'm, like, 
after yesterday, I'm done. I'm just done. Just, I get rid of it. I don't want it anymore. You can have everything. Just take them all out. I don't care. Because I, I, like, I already got my tubes tied, so I'm not planning on having any more kids. So I'm just like, just, you know what? Just take the box out. Throw it away. Give it to somebody who needs it. Give it to somebody who wants to have kids. They can have it. I don't want it anymore. It's, it's a pain in the ass. It's a pain in my gut, literally, because it hurts. I cried. Why is my vagina trying to kill me? <laughs> so thanks, Kat, for saving my life. She saved my life because she was nice enough to take off a little bit of time off work to pick up my daughter at the bus stop because I was just broken. Broken on the inside. Um, I realize that this probably will not be very interesting or kind of gross to lots of men or women. I don't know. People don't like things like people don't like real life <laughs> but seriously like I just felt the need to discuss this because I'm like is it just me like I mean I know some people have like pretty harsh menstrual cycles whatever periods whatever the aunt Flo visited me and it sucked but seriously like I it was never this bad when I like before I had my son. I don't know what happened. I feel like when they tied my tubes, they killed me. They, like, they put something else there or they removed something else. So now my periods are, like, super intense or barely there. And I don't mind the barely there part, but when I get those, then the next time I'm, like, dying. So I don't know what to do. Like, it's just intense. And I hate it. And it's just, like, ugh. I'm, like, how do, like, there are some girls who have the intense kind of period, like, every month and I just don't know how they survive it um it just seems really insane to me like you just have to curl up in a ball and pray you don't die you're like I'll get there in the end someday maybe another thing that really sucks about having a period is that like I feel like I'm super sensitive for like that whole week or at least like three days of it like I was watching The Croods and it's a pretty decent like it's a good movie and there's like a couple sad parts but like I watched it with my kids and my husband like forever ago and it was totally fine like I had no issues but this time I was like bawling at every five minutes I'm like oh they're such a good family <laughs> I just love how they care so much they care so hold on I gotta clean my glasses I can't see I can't believe they're cavemen and they've never worn shoes before. <sighs> but seriously, like, I've just gotten so, like, I just get so sensitive about everything. Like, I'm not like, like, oh my god, don't touch me, I'm so sensitive. But I'm just like, everything I watch, I'm just like, oh my god, the weather today is going to be so cold. <laughs> Or I'm talking about, like, puppies. Puppies are just so darn cute. <laughs> My daughter got an A plus today. <laughs> like, you just, you just fall apart. You're a giant puddle of emotional mush. And you're just like, how do I function for the rest of this day? I tried so hard. Like, I, finally the medicine kicked in. And I was just like, okay, okay. I, I'm fine, like, I feel a lot better, I can stand up without going, oh my god, and, like, I just was like, okay, I can make the kids food now, I'm, I'm normal, and this was, like, four in the evening, like, it took all, like, pretty much the entire day for me to start feeling better, and, like, I made the kids dinner around five, five to six, and we all ate, and it was fun, we watched the cruise, and I cried a lot, and, and then everybody went to bed, and it was no big deal, and I was just like, God, the whole, like, morning half of my day was just so terrible. It was terrible. There was so much pressure, and so much, like, ugh, it just feels like you're insides are grinding against each other. It's the most disgusting and horrible feeling. Like, I'm sorry, it's, it was worse than childbirth. Probably because I got an epidural for both my kids because I did not want to feel none of that. And, like, seriously, it was 
horrible. Like, I, I don't remember the contractions hurting that bad. And I've had some pretty bad contractions when I gave birth to both my kids. So I was just like, Jesus Christ, I'm having another baby. Well, enough about me. How's your vagina? How you doing? Is it good? Is it? No, seriously, I want to know. So when your period gets you down, just remember, one day you're going to die.